Cabell Huntington Hospital employees are now on day two of taking a stand for a better contract agreement. 13 News reporter Lane Ball joins us now live from outside the hospital with an update on the strike. Lane. Well, merely they haven't reached an agreement yet, but these workers say uh, until they see a reasonable offer, the strike will continue. On Tuesday, members of SEIU District 1199 voted to reject Cabell Huntington Hospital's latest contract offer after months of negotiation. Now they're on day two of a strike. The workers have been picketing day and night. They say they were hoping it wouldn't have to come to this. We want to be in there working, taking care of our patients. Not, not out here on the street, but we feel like we were forced to be here. You've got a thousand families here that uh, are just trying to make ends meet. These workers also say the offer that was presented to them would have included a pay cut. Each time we went to the table, they wanted to take more and more. And then at the end, it was a threat if you don't. This is it. If you don't take it, we're going back even further to our last proposal. Specifically, these workers are fighting for quality care, safe staffing, health insurance coverage, and wages that allow them to support their families. These workers say they're going to continue picketing until they've reached a reasonable agreement. A union representative tells us Cabell Huntington Hospital has hired service workers to help run the hospital during the strike. The hospital released a statement Wednesday saying, we are disappointed that the comprehensive offer made by the hospital to the members of SEIU District 1199 service unit was not ratified. Cabell Huntington Hospital has worked in good faith since August throughout the demands of COVID to reach a fair contract with a generous package of benefits. The hospital also said they are looking forward to resuming negotiations with the goal of reaching a mutually beneficial contract. And we'll continue to update with this story as more information becomes available. Reporting live in Huntington, Lane Ball, 13 News, working for you.